Hey folks, can you lift on Instagram over here with me doing a leg workout, a very special leg workout that is nicknamed plutonium. I wonder why. Can't be dangerous or anything like that. Here's what's on the menu. We have four sets of high bar pause squats followed by four sets of hack squats all in the heavy range, five to 10 reps per set, probably a little bit at the higher end and then some high rep leg curls after that. Quad and ham workout for today. Let's follow along. Paul is going, this is a peak week workout, so it's high volume and everything is gonna be close to failure. This may be the last time you see this man alive on camera, but he's super tough. Stay tuned. Big breath in before you go. Descend, pause, come up, breathe out. out up so in a peak week this is a peak week of training most exercisers who want to go to concentric failure can't do anymore in the case of most leg exercises specifically squats also leg presses and hack squats you don't want to go all the way to failure because when that happens the weight falls on you and you die <laughs> so for these super hardcore compound leg movements where the weight could fall on us, we stop about one rep shy of failure. So you'll notice Paul is stopping when the weight seems to be pretty tough and you think, man, I feel like he's got another one. We stop when he's got another one so that we don't accidentally fail due to a technical blunder at the bottom and real bad shit happens. So for all of your other exercises where the bar can't fall on you, for sure go all the way to failure in your last week of training before you deal it. But for things like this that can fall on top of you, which includes bench presses, if you don't have a spotter especially, don't go all the way to failure, stop one rep short, you'll get basically the same hypertrophy results, less fatigue, totally good to go. Up, four, great. Up, five, beautiful, let's go. Up, six, good, come on. Up, one more, breathe, get your shit together. Up, stand up, go, go, go. Rack. Eight, very good, very good. So, four sets of squats later, Paul's still alive. That was a sets of five to 10 reps, probably starting around 10 and as fatigue kicks in, going towards five. And then now we're on to hack squats, our second exercise for the day and our last quad exercise. Another four sets up on deck here, sets of five to 10 reps, a little bit closer to that 10 range, basically sets of eight to 10. You get us a great combination of super high tension and with four sets, a really high volume. Time to get to work. Up. Up. Great. Up. Great, one last one. Whenever you're ready, Paul. Oh, ready! Up. Ah! Beautiful rack. Our goal with these sets is to get into five to 10 rep range. As Paul was fatiguing, he started out around 10 reps, but now after a couple sets, he's getting awfully close to five. We don't have to drop below five because we want a good number of repetitions to keep the movement maximally effective. Sets of less than five reps don't tend to promote as much growth. So what we're gonna do is take off a little bit of weight to bump his reps back up to around 10 so that he gets more reps and finish off this exercise in an excellent high quality manner. Up, breathe, rest, don't go anywhere. Two more. Up, good, come on. Up, and one last one. Go. Up. Yes, beautiful. Oh man. Good shit, man, good shit. So Paul is almost dead. That's the bad news. The good news is he's still alive. Mm -hmm. Couple sets of hamstring curls, 
The reason, you know, we could have designed this workout with two compound quad movements and a final compound ham movement, like good morning and stuff like a deadlift, but honestly, the central dive just is not there after that many eight sets of super, super hard, super heavy quads. Paul was really toasted, lying down for this, much easier, some good high quality hamstring work. We'll have other workouts for quads and hams where there's much more hams, the hamstrings come first, they're much harder, and then the quads are later. This is definitely a quad priority workout. We're just gonna get in here, multiple sets of roughly 10 to 20 reps, get some good stimulus to the hams, head home, try not to die. Try to hit your butt every time. There you go, better. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, effort, Paul. Nine, let's go. 10, rest. Good, go. 14, more. 15, more, Paul. 16, one more, go. 17, rest, don't go anywhere. Three, go. One, all the way up, go. Two, last one, go. Yeah, that's it, that's it. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> Folks, that's it, that's the whole workout. Four sets of paused squats, high bar, four sets of hack squats, and then to finish it off, four sets of hamstring curls, five to 10 rep range for the first two exercises, 10 to 20 for the last. If you wanna try this quad and hamstring workout, by all means, be safe, have a spotter, and uh, don't sit in a past life like Paul and cause yourself a whole lot of pain. See you next time for another awesome, awesome workout.